Welcome to our lecture online. So here we're going to concentrate on how to take or how to calculate the variance of a data set. And here we have a data set of five numbers and again it's the whole population. It's not a sample of a larger population. We we'll show you in the next video of how to worry about the difference. Notice that in this data set we start with negative numbers but it's still increasing. The numbers increase as you go from the left to the right in the data set. So, there's two steps to follow. First, we need to find the mean or the average of our data set. How do we do that? We add up all the numbers and divide it by the total number of numbers that we have. There's five numbers and we add them up. Notice that negative numbers are added as negative numbers and positive numbers are added as positive numbers. So, if we have the same quantity and value of negative numbers as positive numbers, well then the average would be zero. But in this case, we have more positive numbers and the positive numbers are bigger than the negative of the negative numbers. So you can see that we add it all up, we get 30 divided by 5, we get an average of 6. Now how do you calculate the variance? Well notice what we do is we sum up the difference squared of each of the five numbers and then we subtract from each one of those the average number. So we have minus 4 minus 6, minus 1 minus 6, 5 minus 6, 12 minus 6 and 18 minus 6 but we square those differences so notice since we square them it doesn't matter if we end up with a negative number or a positive number the result of each of those squared always will be positive so the variance is always going to be a positive number now notice when we do that we end up with 100 plus 49 plus 1 plus 36 plus 144 divided by 5 and all that adds up to 66 so that's the variance and again, you say, well, what does that 66 mean? Well, 66 gives you a feel of how spread out the numbers are. Now, we had variances in the previous video that were much smaller, 8 and 18.8. So here you can assume that 66 simply, again, represents that the numbers are further spread apart. Notice that the difference between the smallest number and the largest number is 22. So that's a greater variation in the data set. So the variance is kind of a measure of the variation of the numbers in the data set. How far apart the small ones are from the big ones and how spread out the numbers are. Also notice that a single number that is significantly larger or smaller than the average can really add a lot to the variance. Notice that here 12 squared is 144, 10, negative 10 squared is 100. So those two numbers right there, since they're so far from the average number of 6, you can see that they contribute a lot to the variance calculation. And so that's why those two numbers cause you to have a larger variance than what we found in the previous video. But again, what does 66 really mean? It's better if you want to understand what the relationship is between uh, for example, yeah, what the, what the um, well here, no, I'm getting ahead of myself because now I'm thinking about correlation and, and covariance, so we won't go there yet. We simply want to calculate what the variance is, and that's good enough for this video. In the next video, we're going to take a look at what the difference is between using the population or using a sample of the population, because that does affect a little bit of how we calculate the variance and the covariance. So stay tuned for that.